Welcome everybody, this is Prime Excellence and I have a video for you guys. I do not know how to pronounce this dude last name, so I'm just gonna go with his first name, Reed. In summary, he tried to produce a mass shooting at his former school teachers, former bullies, among a lot of different other people. A man dressed as a police officer attacked their local headquarters and planned to shoot his former classmates and teachers who bullied them in his youth. I can't pronounce his last name right now, so I'll call him Reed. He ended up attempting to shoot police at point blank range at the Avon and Summers police headquarters. The court convicted the worker who was obsessed with mass shootings and notorious murderers. He had his kill list of all the targets and locations he intended to attack, including his former school. He also been ordering ammunition and firearms online without a certificate. This means you, you don't need a license to get these things. There will always be loopholes for every single rule out there. An officer wanted to investigate the residents to find out why someone wanted so much ammunition. He came across a house of horror. He apprehended Reed and instead of pointing the gun at himself, he turned it on the officer. He was shot and injured by police officers acting in self-defense. Defense. This story demonstrates that there are loopholes in modern law that allows people to own firearms with or without a license, resulting in a very scary world. Not only that, but this man attended school. And if it's true that not only students, but also teachers contributed to his bullying, it is extremely shameful. He has since been found guilty of possessing an explosive substance with intent to endanger life, also possessing a firearm with intent to kill. And Owning that same firearm without a certificate. The defendant is also admitted to causing fear among other charges. Today, Reed has been jailed for life with a minimum of 12 years. Given all of the criminal charges against him, I am surprised that his minimum sentence is only 12 years. With all of the evidence I have read up to this point in the story, and imagine him not being bullied at school, and perhaps some parental intervention could have spared him of this fate. Reed has written a 1,700-word document titled "Revenge," describe how he would have carried out these attacks a psychotic report was prepared ahead of the sentencing today reed was sentenced at bristol crown court judge martin pickton stated that his, that is a danger to the site he went on to say it is important that people should understand that this does not mean you will be released after this time the 12 years serve as as a minimum amount of time before the parole board will consider you for release the judge also paid tribute to the officer involved that dealt with what is considered a highly traumatic event and proceeded fearlessly and the defendant owes them his life this person wrote a document that contains 1700 words in total he had plenty of time in prison so he had nothing better else to do following everything that he has been presented reed will have a difficulty time obtaining a parole even being given the opportunity he can file an appeal but i bet that appeal will just get denied every single time. The defendant's attorney has argued that this life sentence verdict was unnecessary. Although the evidence suggests that Reed attended to endanger life, this does not mean that that the life sentence should be automatic for Reed. The important aspect of this case is that he has been planning this attack quite some time. But what did Reed actually do? You are sentencing someone to who has not, I repeat, who has not actually created an explosive device. He has obtained some of the chemicals but has has not used them for harmful purposes. He had already handed over some of the weapons to the police when officers arrived at his home. He attempted to shoot himself, but that did not work. He then decided to run at the police officers to force them to fire upon him. His attorney is working hard to keep Reed from being sentenced to life in prison, but I doubt it would be successful. The judge noted that he has materials at his home as well as weapons. He had even purchased a police uniform to disguise himself with. So while his attack has not occurred at this time, he was undoubtedly planning to attack on his dangerous impulses. And now I have a video for you guys on when the officers arrived at his home. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Which one's the toilet, Reed?
Yes. 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 Yes.